Sperm whales of all the cetaceans have one of the most unique shaped heads. As you can see behind me, the skull is really long and elongated, but the head goes up much, much higher. And there's something in this part here, it's full of this substance, it's called spermaceti, which is kind of like an oily, waxy substance. It's really important for sperm whales because it helps them with their dives down to the depths. They're actually able to regulate the density of this substance. When they want to dive down, they make it cooler and it gets dense as a solid, and it actually helps them to dive down to the depths. When they want to go back to the surface, they heat it up with their body temperature, it becomes less dense, and once again a liquid, and they're able to rise back up to the surface. This is really important because it helps them actually reduce their consumption of oxygen as in this long dive down to, to where they go to hunt for squid. The other thing that's really important is they're actually able to use this distal sac that's in their head to create a sort of clicking sound. This clicking sound passes through this oily substance, which helps it then be dispersed through the aquatic environment in front of them. This sound moves forward in the water and it's what they use as a sort of echolocation in order to see the environment around them, to orient themselves in, in the depths where they can't see with their eyes because there's no sunlight. The sunlight enters only in the first 200 meters of the water column and then after that it's the twilight zone and then after a thousand meters it's dark. So they need to hunt in a different way. Sending out these clicks, these clicks help them see the environment around them and then once they get to where the squid are, they also help them identify their prey. They can raise the sound of this click to a really high 230 decibels, which probably is so intense that the squid are disoriented and then when the sperm whale comes they open their mouths and they suck in all the water with the, the squid hole. But because of this it, it actually is really common to find sperm whales with a lot of plastic in their stomachs. They don't use their teeth to catch the prey. The prey are sucked in whole with any other thing that's in the water nearby them. So sperm whales have this amazing head, it's one third of their body side, filled with this amazing substance, this spermacheti, which helps them orient themselves in the sea, communicate between each other, and also hunt for their prey. It's really amazing.